Hi, it's Steffi from Steffi's Beads and Bobbles. And I have uh, just a little shopping trip from Dollar Tree to share with you. Just got a few, I, you know, I got a few grocery items too, but I'm not going to bore you with those. I'm going to show you the crafting related ones. And it's just a small bag. But I got this glitter paper. It's not really showing up. Let me turn on the light and see if, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't want to show up. It's, there you go. It's a real pretty pink. They had a darker pink too. This was the lighter pink. You get three sheets. I'd say probably 9 by 11 if I had to guess. About the size of a normal typing paper or something like that. So that's nice. And then I got two bags of bags for me to put jewelry and stuff in for my little booth at the antique stall. Or at the antique mall. I don't buy too many stickers, but I could not resist these. These are so cute. They have a tadpole and all these different frogs. Look at how cute. Let me see if I can hold it away from the camera so you can see more of it. It's just adorable. So cute. And then I found a bunch of tags. I got a total of 150 tags. Five bags of these little tie-on, but you can also tape them on little price stickers. So those will come in real handy for my booth. I thought a dollar for a dollar that was a really nice embossing stylus. It's got a small and medium size. Looks like it's pretty decent quality. And I also got these tags, which I think are more likely to be used for crafting, but I'm gonna see. I only paid two bucks for the there's 14 of them, so they're they're not real cheap. And then I got a couple things of Chanel sticks. I just like the colors. I probably have a ton of orange. I don't know if I have this. It's not really fuchsia. The highlights are fuchsia. Magenta maybe. I don't know. It reminds me of the magenta crayons from when I was a kid. I don't know if they still have that crayon. I know they've changed. This was my daughter's. It got in my stuff by mistake because we had a cart that we were sharing. But that's fine. I'll give it to her. She's making some wreaths. Then I found these to be very interesting. Now, what I found really weird... They look like marshmallows, for one. These are bats. You get four pieces for a buck. It says glow in the dark. Who wants a white bat, though? I mean, I thought I bought these, and I bought the four pumpkins that also glow in the dark. So I thought what I would do is use sequins and make and the little tiny pins and see if I can decorate them, and we'll do a video on that. I thought these were another cool thing to, kind of a tool. Uh, they're finger protectors, they're silicone finger protectors, so when you're working with hot glue or something, I mean, three for a dollar, that's not bad at all. And I got three little wooden things. You get five pieces in each one. Let's open one and look at the quality. I'll open the pumpkins. It looks like they're pretty decent quality. I mean, they're cheap, but I like how the edge is finished and the inside edges are finished as well, so... If you paint just the front, it's got a nice wood tone on the inside and on the edge. So I thought I'd, I'd paint up some of these and see what I could do with them. But there's bats. There's some black cat. I'm, they're going to be black cats when I get done. And some ghosts. <clears throat> I thought those would be fun. And then last but certainly not least, I got some beads. Now, the tutorial I'm supposed to be doing right now, or today... I needed black bugle beads about that size. And these look really nice quality. This was the only package they had like this, so I grabbed it. And then I got two of these. And they may be identical to the ones I already have. But I think they might be. I don't remember these antique brass metallic looking. But if they're the same thing, I don't care. Uh, it's fine. There's a lot of uh, the, East, uh, the 6-0 beads in there. And there's some uh, these bugle beads. These are the short hematite bugle beads. And this has the longer hematite. So you can see this one's more of the hematite than that one. But they're really cool and good price. And so that was that. But just a few little things. And I bought a few groceries too. So And non-grocery household items. I think I 
My bill came to like 40 bucks plus tax. I told my daughter, I said, that's pretty crazy that when they ring up a Dollar Tree, it's not just the amount you spend, it's how many items you bought. You think about it, you go, 40 items? What, did I, what 40 items did I buy, you know? It's kind of weird when you think about it that way. But I don't really pay attention, you know, on every receipt it usually says how many items you bought. But I don't tend to look at that very often. But Dollar Tree, they tell you when they tell you the price, you know that's how many items you bought. Anyway, I've got a great tutorial to show you. I think you're going to really like it. It's something I have done for well over 30 years. And I think you're going to enjoy it. It's an order I got, so I decided since I'm going to make them for the order, that I would film it as a tutorial and share it with you. So, and by the way, this is my seed bead box here. That's all seed beads in here. Bags and bags of seed beads. I still have all my old, these are all the ones I've bought in the last 10 years maybe, or 5 years probably. All my older ones are still in those divided containers on my big metal shelf. This is, this is the better quality ones though. The old seed beads I used to buy were pretty bad quality. They were uh, uneven, and so I'm really pleased with the quality of, I buy the mainly Toho, which is a Japanese brand of seed bead. See if I have a bag to show you. And I buy them from all different companies, but I buy Toho. And this craft I'll be doing for you, this tutorial, you see this is another one I buy, Toho. They're different companies package them a little differently. It's almost a similar bead, it's not quite the same. One's buttermilk and one's ivory. Slightly different. But I buy better quality now. So you get a little less for the money. Because you can go to Hobby Lobby and get this big tube like this. You can get this giant tube on clearance. Not on clearance. On half price. Usually once a month for a dollar ninety. Well, you know, dollar whatever. It's three ninety nine, So under $2. Where for this little tube, I paid $1.95 for this little tube. Right here. Let's see if it will show you. See? Look at the difference. This is 114 grams and four ounce it's four ounces. This one it doesn't say the ounces, it just says 2.5. But you can see the difference. I mean that's huge. But the quality, now these aren't bad quality, but these are excellent quality, and that's what you pay for. Now I do get them cheaper, like these little bags. I buy them when I buy them in the bulk bags. I get them a lot cheaper when I buy 50 grams. This is Navajo white. This is Lester beige. But when I buy the 50 gram bags, I, and I get them usually on half price. I get these for a lot cheaper than this, and it's the same brand. It's still a Toho brand. Yeah, white. It says Navajo white Toho. So the Toho is the brand, and so when you buy them in the 50 gram bags, and this was from directauntiesbeads.com. That's where I buy a lot of these bags. Now I haven't bought in a while, so I can't tell you if they still have these or not. I have not bought any big bags in a while, but I tend to buy uh, a lot of these big bags when I can because it does save money when you buy them in the big bags. And you can get some of the more interesting colors. Like this is a diamond orange cream lined Tohos. So it's like one color lined with a different color. It gives it a really interesting look. And uh, you can buy beads in what's called a hank. And you can buy beads in tubes. This was like right here. This one came from Tuesday morning. They also look to be pretty good quality. But if you want good beads and you want them to be really uniform, now for the for the ornaments, the only place you really kind of want them uniform is on the edge, but I still don't worry about that too much. Um, but when you're doing beaded jewelry or bead weaving, you really want even beads, and that's when you want to get Toho or uh, some of the other expensive, more expensive Japanese brands. And what I was surprised to find is you can buy little bags uh, you know, the little bags. Let me find you a little. Or a tube like this. Sometimes as much as $30 of certain beads. Now, I have personally never spent that. But 
very, very interesting to me. But the beads will be involved in my project for tomorrow, so I can't wait to share that with you. And so I'm going to get started on that right now as I upload this video. And I will hopefully see you tomorrow. I hope you have a good start to your weekend and have a really good weekend, and I will be back soon. Bye.